whenever we're printing on dark garments and we need a white underbase, uh, when do we need a white underbase? We need a white underbase if any part of the image is lighter in color than the garment that we're printing on. So for example, if we're using any kind of an image with white in it, white is lighter than every other color except for white itself. So therefore, if I'm printing on even a light blue and there's white in the image, I need to pre-treat that because I need to use white ink. So to pre-treat, I'm going to put our garment on the heat press. This heat press is set to 340 degrees, medium pressure. I'm going to pre-press this for 15 seconds at 340 degrees. What's your name, sir? After pre-pressing, we take it off the heat press and bring it to the area that we're going to pre-treat. Wherever you're pre-treating, you want to do that in a very well-ventilated area. We take the pre-pressed shirt, we bring it to our pre-treat area. Now, the amount of pre-treat being applied to this garment is going to depend on three things. We have an adjustment on the trigger. This controls how much product is coming out of the sprayer. Also, depending on how close or how far away we are from the surface of the garment will affect how much pre-treat is being applied as well as how fast I move. So we've got the trigger set to about medium and I want to be usually about 10 to 12 inches away from the garment and I want to move at a medium pace. Now you're going to see I'm going to spray it horizontally first then I'm going to come back and I'm going to spray it vertically that way we'll get nice even coverage over the entire surface of the garment. You'll notice I didn't stop when I got to the edges, I continued past them. That's to make sure we don't overspray the edges. Now we want to take a roller and we want to roll this but only in one direction. Everything we're doing here with the pre-treat is to seal the surface of the garment, flatten these fibers, and most importantly create a bonding agent between the ink and the surface of the garment. We're now going to take this shirt back to the heat press where we will dry it. We now take the pre-treated shirt, we put it back on our heat press. The temperature is still at 340, but the time, we want to make sure that we do this for between 35 and 40 seconds. So I'll set the timer for 40 seconds. And now we're going to take a piece of either release paper or a Teflon sheet. You do not want to use parchment paper for this procedure. And at medium pressure, we're going to press the garment. Now you will notice little wisps of steam perhaps coming out of this. When you get down to around 35 seconds, there should be no more steam emanating from the heat press. If there is, that means that garment was over pretreated. Over pretreating is just as bad, if not worse, than under pretreating. If you over pretreat a garment, you will ruin the washability of the garment so that after just a couple washings, the print will actually wash out of the garment. And that's a common mistake people make, is when they first start, they may not apply enough, so then they overcompensate by applying too much, and that's actually worse. If you're drying the pre-treated surface with Teflon instead of release paper, we put it up here. 
We dry it for 40 seconds at 340 degrees. We want to make sure that when we get down to about 30 or 35 seconds that we don't have any more steam coming out of the heat press. You'll see there's no more steam coming out any longer. And that's at 35 right there. And another way you can tell how much pretreat you applied, besides the amount of steam that's coming out, is when we take this sheet, it just slides right off of here. Notice it didn't stick really. Very, very little, but I don't have to peel it away. It's just sliding away. That indicates the proper amount of pretreat. That also indicates that we had the proper pressure on the heat press. There are several things that would make the Teflon sheet stick. The Teflon sheet would stick if there's too much pressure. The Teflon sheet would absolutely stick if we applied too much pretreat. And the other thing that could make it stick is these Teflon sheets need to be wiped down. And the easiest way to wipe them down is simply take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and wipe the sheet down about every 10 to 12 prints. Make sure that you wipe down both sides. Both sides are the same, so it doesn't matter which side we use. After the garment has been dried, this garment can be printed immediately, so I can bring this right over to the printer and print it, or these can be stored for three weeks to a month. Now it's very important that during the storing process that we don't disturb the surface that's been pretreated. So the best way to store these would be to take this garment, lay it down, take a piece of release paper, place it on that garment, that'll protect that surface. Then take another garment that you've already pre-treated and put it pre-treat side down against the paper. And we can make sandwiches like this and stack these up. Once you've got the garment stacked up, the best way to do this would be to just simply fold this in half like this and store this safely where they won't be disturbed. When it comes to pre-treating, you want to make sure you never put white ink in your pre-treat machine. The only thing we use for pre-treating is the bottle labeled DTG pre-treat. It is extremely important that pre-treat be the only thing you put inside your sprayer. You want to shake this bottle a little bit before you fill it up and you want to make sure that this is the only product that goes inside that pre-treat gun that you never put white ink inside that machine. It is actually best to store these in two separate locations so you don't get them mixed up.